In this video, we take a look at how to create an ad banner with the all new iPhone 13 Pro Max, and this is coming up. Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Innocent here. Over here we do Photoshop tutorials and tips. So if that's something that sounds like you're interested, consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using. Of course, you're going to have to go to my website to download them. And if you want to follow along, you can download and then follow suit. If you are done and you want to show it to me, you can send it over to Instagram so that we can get in touch. Now let's get into Photoshop. And let's get started i'll be doing this in photoshop 2021 but this should work out with any version that you are using the first thing we are going to do is we're going to create a new document the size that i'm going to use is 1280 by 720. i'm going to keep my resolution at 300 of course since this is a small size you can increase the resolution to about 600 that is fine now I'll go ahead and i'm going to click on create now let's start with the background the first thing we're going to create is a gradient overlay so we go to the right side of photoshop here and we click on the create new fill adjustments we are going to add a gradient over here so you left click on that and then you're going to double click or click on your gradient to open your gradient panels for you now you're going to set your gradient of course i've already set my gradient so i'll just drag over here so this is basically just a two set of colors that we are going to use. Now the first color is going to be this particular color. So if you want to copy that and the second one is a white color. I go ahead and I'll click OK. The next thing I do is I'm going to change my layer style to radial and I'm going to click on reverse. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to scale my white a little bit so that it can come over here. So let's go up a little bit and let me try to set this to about 180 so that it brightens in the middle the next thing i do is i go over to my resources and i have this particular background that i got from google so i'm going to drag and drop that inside of photoshop so i'll leave it right on top of the gradient that we just set this background already looks good but we're just going to try to merge it with the background that we just set so i'm going to right click on that and i'm going to rasterize the layer i'll head over to the blending mode and i'm going to set that to overlay now this should be fine for the meantime the next thing i want to bring in is this gradient abstract background so i'll drag that also and drop it inside of photoshop so i'm going to leave it at the very extreme bottom over here so i'm going to close this side I only want the very edges of the bottom so somewhere around here and then I can double click on that I right click and I'm going to rasterize the layer and then I'll add a layer mask to it now I'm going to choose my brush tool and I'm going to brush off the areas that I don't want but you have to make sure that your foreground color is black now you go ahead and then you brush off the areas that you don't really want over here like that now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to make a duplicate of this same layer so ctrl j to duplicate that i'll drag it to the left side of our canvas and then i'm going to press ctrl t right click on it and i'm going to flip it vertical right click again and i'm going to flip it horizontal in this way when i drag it to the extreme right side like this you see that it rotates automatically to the other side so here and here becomes the same now it's time to introduce our iphone so i'll go back into my resource and i have a couple of the iphones here i got a couple of them for you so you can play around with any of them but this is what i used in this tutorial so i'm going to drag that into photoshop and i'm going to place it on a separate canvas now what i'm going to do is i'm going to unlock it so i'm going to left click and then it unlocks and i'm going to choose the magic one two to create a selection so i left click to create a selection and i'm going to hit on delete to get rid of the background after that i'm going to press ctrl d and then i'll choose my move to and then i can move this into our current working document now i'll position this in the very middle over here so somewhere around here 
I can press Ctrl A and then make sure that it is well centered, something like this. And you take your time to reposition it so it can go up a little bit like that. I think somewhere around here looks very fine. Now, the next thing that I do is I right click on this iPhone, go to the blending options, and I'm going to add a bit of auto glow to it. So I'll choose my auto glow over here and I'm going to use this same color. So you can copy the color from here. I click OK and I'm going to leave the sizes as it is. So if I turn this one off, you see the glow around it. That is how it actually works. So the spread is 11, the size is 40, the opacity is 34, and then the blend mode is set to screen. After you're done with that, you go ahead and then you click OK. We can now go ahead and add our test. I'm going to use just one font throughout this video. I'm going to use the font called Roboto and I'll leave link in the description if you want to download that as well. So I'm going to select my test tool here and I'm going to select my font called Roboto and I'm going to use the medium. The first thing that I'm going to type here is introducing so I'll select my test, go to the toggle test over here or the toggle character and then I'm going to close it up a little bit like that. Now make sure that I'm writing all of these in the left aligned and I'll press Ctrl T to transform this out a little bit like this. Now you realize that the color that I'm using here is right from this iPhone right here. Okay, so after we're done with this, the next thing that I do is I'm going to select my rectangle tool here. We're going to add the specifications of the phone, the major specifications, of course. And I'm going to create a very simple rectangle over here. I'll make sure that it is in alignment with the test that we created. So something like this, and we can leave it right over there. Now we're going to change the color of this particular rectangle. So you double click. On the layer thumbnail over here and you're going to change the color to black now you make sure that you reduce the opacity you can use the opacity from this very side so you can reduce this like that or you can use the numbers if you press on 5 it is going to set it to 50 if you press on 4 it is going to set it to 40 and now we can write the specification so I'm going to duplicate this same test over here by pressing ctrl j and i'm going to send it on top of the rectangle so right over there and drag it inside the rectangle now i'm going to double click on that i've already written down the test so the first one is going to be the display so 6.5 interesting so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to paste it right over here select all of it go to the color palette over here click on it and i'm going to change the color to white i'll then go ahead and click ok now i'm going to press ctrl t to transform this one out to be something way smaller like this and then i'll drag it to the very right side over here now let's zoom in a little bit to make sure that everything is in place but then we can open this one up a little bit so you go to the toggle character and then you can set this to about six or seven so 6.5 let's see 6.5 would do now i'm going to just basically copy the rest of the things and paste it right underneath like this so i'll just go back to my test and i'm going to select the rest copy that come back to photoshop and i'm going to paste it right over here so this looks very fine for me now i'm just going to make sure that it is not that close to the edge and from here we can go ahead and add the icons to it so the display the camera the memory and then the battery the first one is going to be the display for the display i couldn't get any icon for it so why don't we create our own so we're going to choose the rounded rectangle over here and we're going to create a very simple rounded rectangle like this now this is too round so let's set the radius of the corner to 10 and we're going to hit enter so something like this works very fine for me this is how it actually looks like 
and then we're going to decrease the fill over here to zero right click on it and go to the blending options what we're going to do next is we're going to set the stroke to two and then the color is going to be white now I'll go ahead and i'm going to click on ok so this is our display now we can move this to this side or to the left side a little bit or better still we can close it up a little bit so that it can look nice something like that and that means that we can position our test a little bit to the left side as well something like this looks good and from there we can go back to our resource and we have the rest of the things over there so the next one is going to be the camera i'll drag it inside of photoshop like that and then i'm going to position it right over here so somewhere like this i'll transform it out a little bit to make it look nice and in alignment with the others so take your time to do that this can be very tricky so it just take your time and something like that you make sure that the distances are quite okay if not equal at least so i'm going to right click on that rasterize it and i'm going to right click again go to the blending options and we are going to give this a color because this is white this also has to be white now we choose the color overlay and we're going to give it a color white and we go ahead and we click ok so we are going to do the same thing for the next one so the next one would be the memory drag it over here and once you have it in place you can basically just go ahead and hold alt drag the fx that is the effect over here onto the memory and obviously it is also going to change to white and of course you do it for the battery as well for the battery it is currently in the landscape mode so if you right click on it and then you flip it to the left side that is rotate 90 clockwise it is going to be on the portrait mode and when you have it in place you can basically repeat the same process by holding alt and then dragging the effect onto this and then it is also going to change to white the next thing we do is we're going to create a shop now so this is in quotes an ad flyer or a promo flyer something like that so you're going to want to add a shop more or something onto your banner so we go for the rounded rectangle and then we're going to create a very simple rounded rectangle like that we're going to double click on the layer thumbnail over here and choose this color like that something quite simple and inside of that you're going to write the shop now so we choose the test tool again and we're going to write now let's select all of that and change the color to the color right over here click ok and then we can press ctrl t to transform this out as we drag it inside of the rounded rectangle that we just created so something like this and then we can position it over here you double click on that and you are good to go now if this is for your website or your shop you can then go ahead to add your website so i'm going to copy this onto the very bottom and then i'm going to put my website over here by the way have you visited my website yet i'm going to select all of these and i'm going to change the color back to white and click ok so that it will be visible and i'm going to change the medium right over here to regular now we don't want the website to be at the very edge like that so we can close our rectangle here a little bit like that so we are getting closer it looks quite interesting now the next thing we want to do is underneath of this iphone we want to write the 13 so it is the iphone 13 pro max this is the pro max so underneath of it we are going to pick the test tool and we are going to write a very huge 13 so a big one like that and we're going to select all of it change it back to the medium and change the color to black so we go ahead and we click ok and then ok from here and we press ctrl t to transform this out to be a little bit very large so something like i want it very bold like that now i'm going to select all of these and i'll go to the toggle character and i'm going to close 
the tracking so you close it up a little bit like that so that there will be some space at the right side for us to open it up some more so let's bring it down a little bit and open it up a little bit like that now once we're done with this we just go ahead and we use the numeric keys to change it to a very transparent or you can use the opacity something like that to change the transparency to something lower like this now right on top of this 13 you want to put the price over there so you can select your test hold shift so that you not write or you not edit the 13 and then you left click and then you are going to put the price over there so the iphone 13 pro max starts from 10.99 dollars that's a huge money okay so we're going to select all of that and choose the medium and we're going to change the color to this particular color over here and click ok go to the toggle character now the last thing we're going to do is a bit of elements that we want to bring in here so we go inside of our resource and we have this graphical elements and we're going to drag and drop that inside of photoshop unlock it and then we're going to choose the magic one tool over here left click on top of it and we're going to delete the background so we can pick the rectangular marquee tool right from here and then we can make a selection of this portion you can of course use any one of them that you deem fit so i'm going to press ctrl j to copy that and i'm going to send it into my document so right over here and i'll place it on top of this side i right click on that go to the blending options i'm going to select my color overlay and change the color to white and click ok this looks good so i'll make another duplicate press ctrl t and i'm going to right click and flip this to 90 clockwise or anti-clockwise either of them works and then i'm going to bring it right over here now this looks like too many for me so i'm going to select the rectangular marquee tool again and i'm going to crop a couple of them away so i'll select that part and hit delete now you take your time to make sure that your testing and spacing everything is on point and that will be pretty much it we just created a very simple iphone promotional banner now with the help of the photo filter you can change the color of the colors in here to something very great it works pretty much like the camera raw filter so on top of all of this i'm going to go to the new fill adjustment and i'm going to create a photo filter on top of it and i'm going to make maintain the color right over here that is this particular color and look at what we have here when i drag the density to the latter part look at what i have over here isn't this just amazing guys let me know in the comment section which one do you actually prefer between this and the original colors that we use that is between this and that which one do you prefer let me know in the comment section below and that'll be pretty much it for this video remember that a link to all the resources that i'll use will be live on my website you can download them www.innocentkboatin.com and practice this and you can send it to me on ig for us to get in touch thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video it's innocent here and bye